The first thing you need to do um, is download SweetFX Configurator. Uh, you'll go to this website, which I will include in the description of the video, and um, you're going to click this hyperlink right here, SweetFX Configurator with SweetFX 1.5.1. Um, that you can download that to wherever you prefer, um, and then what you'll do is extract the uh, the contents of that file um, again wherever you prefer um, I put mine on my desktop um, and then inside that you will have a exe labeled sweet effects config dot exe so it might look like this it might not um, but what you'll do is you'll double click that you'll hit um, add new game you won't have any games in the game list uh, shouldn't if you're doing a fresh install um, if you already have sweet effects configurator you kind of know how this works um, Guild Wars 2 is a little different whereas we have to copy and paste a two files into the bin folder of Guild Wars 2. But I'll get into that later when we need to. Um, so what you're going to do is add new game, uh, locate your Guild Wars 2 root folder. Mine is in my F drive. Yours, most people's will be in their C drive, um, whatever their main hard drive is. Um, and... Uh, you'll find your guildwars2.exe and you'll hit open. I'm gonna hit cancel because I already have mine up here. Uh, yours will also say inactive when you do this. Um, what you're gonna to wanna to do instead of remove sweet effects you should see add sweet effects or install sweet effects. Um, do that. That will put the files that you need into your guildwars2 uh, root folder which will be like uh, d3d9.dll, um, d3d9.fx, dxgi.dll, all these. Um, you'll see injector, uh, suite effects, readme, suite effects settings, preset. Uh, well, you might not see the preset right now because you haven't added a preset, but you'll have a whole bunch of different folders in here. Um, what we need to do then is find the uh, preset that we want. Um, Guild Wars 2 right now is on page 14 of this website. And then um, uh, you'll go to Guild Wars 2. And then the one that I use is actually the Dragon's Reborn Rise new. Um, it looks amazing, the comparisons. Um, let's see if I can find a good one right here. So everything is just much more vibrant. Um, you get more detail. So what you'll do is you'll go to whichever one you prefer from the list um, and then you go to that one's page uh, and then hit download preset now you can download this wherever you want I'm gonna hit cancel because I already have it um, when you download this you then go over to save load configuration and then you will import a preset you'll notice mine's already there but I will import one and wherever you save this, I save this in my sweet effects folder. Um, but um, you'll find the preset that you want, and then you will hit open. 
when you have it highlighted, of course. Um, then with this, it gets a little weird. Mine's kind of glitchy, and uh, to actually load the preset, I click on the preset, I select load, and then I have to close it, open it again with save load, and then hit load again. Some people might not have to do that. Mine's weird. So once you do that, uh, what we need to do is actually copy the d3d9.dll and the dxgi.dll. You need to copy both of those and then go to your bin folder, which will look like this. And then uh, you will paste those into your bin folder. I've already done this, so I'm going to skip. But you need to, if, if it says copy and replace, hit copy and replace. Um, I'm going to skip both of those, though, because I already have mine right here and right here. Um, now, you should be all set. OK, we are in Guild Wars 2, and we have just installed SweetFX. What we need to do now is adjust our graphics in-game to allow SweetFX to run properly. And what you're going to do is disable anti-aliasing. So anti-aliasing, none. And if you don't notice a graphics difference, Press your scroll lock button on your keyboard, and that should enable Sweet Effects or disable it. Uh, you'll notice a, a pretty strict difference. So that's how you install Sweet Effects on Guild Wars 2. Hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks.